Greetings to all. Welcome to the channel Simtech 05. This is a small video on meshing. One of my subscribers asked one question that in hypermesh we have detailed meshing. We can control elements each and every location. So can we do similar things in hypermesh? Not the 100% similar thing, but quite advanced meshing options we have in in Abacus also and literally those uh, massing algorithm in Abacus also very beautiful. So let me show you things in hypermesh first. Okay, here it is. As you can see here, near to the hole where we have stress concentration region, we mass our component very precisely. I mean to say refined element we created and away from that stress concentration zone, whatever element we have, we can accept. But still, here we have all element as quad element. Their size is greatly increasing as those are not stress concentration given. But still, they are quad element. So now question is how to generate such controlled massing on the stress concentration regions in Abacus. So let's try to find out the answer. Okay, now I'm again in the hypermesh and let me move to the massing module and we can utilize some basic algorithms. Let's say my element size or choosing a mass algorithm, default algorithm actually I'm choosing. Previously I changed the algorithm, that's why I'm clicking on default and click on OK. Mapping mesh just checked on here. So let me click on OK and and uh, let me go with the matching. This is the default matching generated by the Abacus software. Based on the element size, it try to maintain element qualities. Let me change the algorithm and now try to match. And now we can see only by changing algorithm to the medial axis one, we will get a precise massing as compared to the unmapped mass. Previously we got an unstructured mass, but now we have quite a structured massing, quite good massing. But still, this is not what we seen in hypermass. So let me go with the splitting tool and let me split using the surface partition, surface splitting. So you can go with this uh, partition definition, then go to the sketch and select the edge. Yeah, now we are in the sketch module. Let me select the line and let me create these two lines here likewise. And one circular split I am creating that will work or that will behave like a washer that we seen in our hypermesh also. Yeah, that's okay for me. Okay, still those surfaces are representing in pink color, pink type of color. So why? Because the mass algorithm is still default one. Uh, let me choose a quad element shape. Uh, actually, it was previously quad dominant. We want the quad only. There is difference between the quad and quad dominant, but uh, it is not differentiable here. Okay. So here I am choosing the structured massing and let's me click on OK. Let's proceed. Likewise. So structured massing I am choosing. Previously, it was free options. Still, we are getting not similar to the hypermesh massing. Quite beautiful massing we are getting, but not similar to like that, like hypermesh. So let me go with the seeding, okay? Selecting those four edges and let me decide the number of element by number of options and at least four element I want along the radial direction in this washer area. Similarly, on the circular edges also, by default, we have four elements, but I don't want four. I want more than four because I want precise messing here. 
So let me define it again by number and maybe eight element or something like that. Now go to the mess. Yeah, okay. See, compared to the previous one, we are getting quite good massing. So that's all about the a simple massing that we can generate in Abacus. If you are new user, then it will be uh, something new for you. Otherwise, you are very well known to these things. So thank you. If you have any question, please let me know. Thank you very much.